of you here today. It's great to be back here in Portland again. Fast. <laughs> it literally felt like we were at one station for a minute each. <laughs> I was like, why are we switching <laughs> so quick? But I had a ball. I loved it. It was so much fun. Are you the only one with the type of disability you have? No, actually, a lot of people have cerebral palsy. Are you able to ride a bike, Lucy? Yes, but I actually have a special bicycle, what they call a chopper, and I love it. A chopper? Yeah, and I literally ride it about six or seven miles down the bike path. What's the, your favorite part of your career? Helping children with disabilities around the world, be able to have the same experiences and opportunities in life that I get to have. <laughs> Bye. I just want family and speaking to school and speaking to kids and getting help kids. It's a good way to get to do. We spoke with our athletic directors about the importance of expanding unified sports. This is an incredible role model you guys have up here, and we thank you for coming and sharing your story this week. Anytime I'm with kids, it's a good time. It's a very good time. If you ever have the chance to um, live a life without some legal policy, would you change that? If I could, I would. But I can't. So I have to work every day as hard as I possibly can to do the best I can. Mm -hmm. I mean, what was it like doing sports before you were in the Special Olympics? Well, my friends would be playing basketball and volleyball and tennis all the time, like every weekend. I just thought, oh, I can play anytime. I don't care. And then I realized I could because I had this event. So I got into Special Olympics. I got to compete and be on a team, just like all of my friends. And it was amazing. <laughs> My very first pair of tennis shoes that I can actually put on myself because I don't know how to tie my shoes and I don't really want to Our community. The question is, can I be one of, in one of your pictures? 